you see? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, willed legalistically for everyone to worship him. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have only created the jinn and ins to worship me alone. But did it took care? No. Some worshipped and some did not worship. Right? Some worshipped and some did not worship. You see? And we have verses in Quran in which we have the uh, word irada, will, and it means the first kind of will, which is the to be will. And we have other verses in Quran in which it means the other kind, which is the legalistic will. The example of the first one is the verse that I mentioned earlier. And another verse, for example, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ أَنْ يَهْدِيَهُ يَشْرَحْ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ وَمَنْ يُرِدْ أَنْ يُضِلَّهُ يَجْعَلْ صَدْرَهُ ضَيِّقًا He who Allah wills guidance for him, he will make his heart open for guidance. And he who Allah wills misguidance for him, he will make his heart tight and locked so that it will not accept guidance. You see? So this kind of will in this verse is the first type, the universal will. You see? But let's take another verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ Allah wills easiness for you and does not will toughness or hardship. What does will mean here? If it meant the first kind, then it should occur. Then nothing but easiness should occur to us, right? No one should face any hardship, right? But this is not what it means. It means Allah orders you with that which is easy for you. Nothing is difficult which Allah has ordered you. He ordered you with five prayers. You could take 50. You could take more. Some people pray all day, like the uh, pray all night, like the Khawarij used to do, you see, all year around. Allah ordered you to fast one month. The Khawarij used to fast all year. Fast one day, you see. But Allah wanted easiness for us. He made zakat for us two and a half percent. You see, if you go and uh, see the tax, okay, you'll get crazy. 65% only income tax. It could reach to 65%, and it depends on your salary, but it could reach to 65% of your salary, only income tax, you know. In Islam, you don't have any taxes. Taxes are haram, you see. They are not allowed in Islam. And you only pay zakat 2.5%. And you don't have to pay it to the government. You can pay it to whoever you think is needy or uh, يعني, according to the categories of zakat. As a matter of fact, you can pay it to your own brother if he fits the description, if he is needy. You can give it to, to your own brother, or your own sister, your other relatives, except your father and mother, where it is obligatory on you to spend on them if they are in need. You cannot give them from the zakat. It is obligatory on you to spend on them, you see? So, alhamdulillah, this is the meaning of yuridu Allah bikum al yusr. Yurid here, the will here means the legalistic will, not the universal, not to, to be, you see? So some people uh, might not follow the Sharia in the right way, so easiness will not happen to them, will not occur to them, you see. The other verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Now this verse, the Shias do not understand it. 
here to mean the first one, which is to be. That Allah willed for Ahlul Bayt to be purified. You see? And when you tell them you, you misunderstood it, they say, no, you misunderstood it. We have, of course, they, they can claim anything they, they want. If it meant the first one, then it no doubt, right? Then why did the Prophet ﷺ, according to your narrations, brought Ali and Fatima and Al-Hasan and Al-Hussein and made dua for them to be purified? Why? You see? Because they have this story. And they say the Prophet ﷺ brought Ali and Fatima and Al-Hasan and Al-Hussein and he put them under uh, some kind of uh, tent or whatever. And he made dua for them to be purified. After this verse was revealed. Why did the Prophet ﷺ do this? There is no need. Allah said, I'll purify them. So <laughs> there is no need, you see. But the verse here doesn't mean the universal, the to be. No, it means the order for them to be pure. And what makes it clearer, the verses, the other verses before it and after it, all of those verses were orders for the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu to, to cover up, to have uh, chastity, to have modesty, and so on and so forth. And then amongst those orders was this order, to be pure, you see. So it's just one of those orders, you see. It's not something that they claim. And you cannot take the one sentence out of uh, the other sentences context just like that. You know, because all of them are orders for the wives of the Prophet. Ya Nisa and Nabi, O wives of the Prophet, do this, do this, do this, do this. You see? So therefore, Understanding the difference between the two forms of will is very crucial for this topic of the faith in Qadr. If you don't understand the difference, you will go astray in this issue. You see? Why? Those who denied Qadr, like Mu'tazila, and like, to some extent like them, are the Maturidis also, which make up now the Hanafis, mostly. Uh, the Ma the Mu'tazila and the uh, those who deny the Qadr, those who deny the Qadr, when they see someone doing something bad, let's say stealing or whatever, they say, uh, Allah did not love this, action. He doesn't love stealing. True or not? True. No doubt. Allah hates all kinds of sins and kufr and shirk. True. But then they said what? Because he doesn't love it, that means he didn't will it. You see? So they did not separate between the two forms of will. They took the second one to mean the first one. They could not separate between them. One will only. So who willed it then? Who willed it? Could anything occur in the kingdom of Allah forcibly on Allah? No doubt that nothing can occur like this. Okay, let's come to the other group which went to the other extreme who said that things are written means that we have no will at all. That the brother is scratching his foot now without his will. Okay? <laughs> so, those people, how they explained it? They saw someone who is uh, committing, let's say, stealing again. And they say, this is willed by Allah. <laughs> 